Mustangs have always been known for their speed and power. Still, Shelby took that legacy and elevated it to new heights, crafting a version of the Mustang that could dominate both the street and the track, inspiring generations of tuners along the way. From the sleek lines of the 65 GT350 to the thunderous roar of the latest GT500, every iteration of the Shelby Mustang embodies a fusion of performance and race-inspired aesthetics that commands attention. So what secrets lie beneath the hood of these legendary machines? Well, stick around and find out. Born in Leesburg, Texas, Carroll Shelby seemed to be a man obsessed with speed his whole life. Carroll Shelby pushes his Ferrari and is showing the way. One and he won and he won. He started out teaching pilots during World War II, but quickly transitioned to driving fast cars on the ground. His journey began with small races, like a speedy dash in a souped-up Ford V8 hot rod. Shelby's talent behind the wheel soon took him to Europe, where he made headlines breaking land speed records and bagging Sports Illustrated Sports Car Driver of the Year award twice. His biggest win came in 1959 when he conquered the gruelling 24 hours of Le Mans. Sadly, in 1960, heart troubles forced Shelby to hang up his racing gloves, much to his dismay. But that didn't stop him from leaving his mark on the world of cars. In 1962, he became fixated on a single word, Cobra, a word that would later become synonymous with jaw-dropping performance for Mustang enthusiasts. When Ford went head-to-head -head with Ferrari, they called on Shelby and his crew for help, tasked with turning a Mustang into a race car, and that's how the iconic 1965 Shelby GT350 was born. The GT350 didn't just blend in with the rest of the Mustang crowd, it stood out. Painted solely in Wimbledon white with bold Guardsman blue rocker panel stripes, it demanded attention. Externally, the GT350 boasted unique features like a sturdy Monte Carlo bar, a functional hood scoop and tweaked steering. Its 15-inch wheels and low-angle nylon cord Goodyear tyres straddled the line between street and track, capable of handling speeds up to 130 miles per hour. Often mistaken for a Cobra due to its shared lineage with Shelby's race cars, the GT350 proudly displayed Shelby's original Cobra design on its badges. Then there was the GT350R, the race-bred sibling, which was limited to just 35 units to meet SCCA regulations. Behind the wheel, Shelby's own Ken Miles piloted the GT350 to its inaugural victory on Valentine's Day 1965 a fitting tribute to his affection for the car. The GT350 dominated the B-Class circuit for three consecutive years. Under the hood, a 289 CID K-Code engine unleashed 306 horsepower in the GT350, while its racing variant, the GT350R, pushed the boundaries with 360 horsepower, a staggering figure for its time. An unusual feature in the first 300 models was the trunk-mounted battery, causing discomfort with fumes seeping into the cabin. Initially addressed with caps and hoses, the battery was eventually relocated to the engine compartment. Though priced at $4,547, a hefty sum at the time, owning a 65 Shelby Mustang GT350 proved to be a wise investment given its rarity. Only 513 were sold. Today, these iconic cars can fetch prices over 10 times their original value. In 2020, Ken Miles's GT350 chassis number 5R002 fetched a record-breaking $3.5 million at auction, cementing its status as the most expensive Mustang ever sold. In 1966, Shelby made some tweaks to the GT350, making it a bit friendlier for everyday driving. He threw in some foldable back seats for extra storage, introduced new colours and elongated the exhaust pipes to keep cabin noise down. Plus, he offered an automatic transmission option, catering to a wider audience. 
Spotting a 66 from its predecessor was easy. The rear quarter windows and brake scoops were distinctive 66 additions. Underneath, it still packed the same punch with the modified K-Code 289 engine ensuring it stayed a street legal racer. A standout from the 66 lineup was the GT350H, H for Hertz, the rental car company. They sported a sleek black with gold stripes look, though Ford and Hertz later switched most to automatics after some found their way onto the race circuit. Then came the 67 GT500, which Shelby himself hailed as a masterpiece. It boasted a beefy 427 CID engine, a significant upgrade from the GT350's power plant. The 67 GT350 also got a facelift, featuring a roll bar, a larger hood scoop and a spoiler lip for that racetrack vibe. By 1968, Shelby's Mustangs were back to their roots, adopting the Cobra moniker once again as the GT350 and GT500. Sporting shorter hoods and redesigned grills, they exuded a distinctive shark-like appearance. The GT350 upgraded to a 302 cubic inch engine, while the GT500 switched to a 427 Cobra jet. But it was the GT500 KR that stole the show, earning its title as the king of the road. With enhancements like a Ram air hood scoop, it boasted impressive torque, setting a new standard in power and performance. In 69, the Shelby Mustangs dropped the Cobra tag, but kept evolving. They grew four inches longer, marking a shift in design. However, creative differences led to the end of the Shelby Ford partnership in 1969, with leftover 69s sold as 70s. Shelby only produced unique Mustangs for a Belgian dealer in 71 and 72, known as Shelby Europas, exclusive to Europe. In the mid-2000s, the iconic Shelby Mustang made a comeback, bringing with it a wave of power and performance. The 2007 to 2009 Shelby GT500 was a collaboration between Ford's SVT team and Carroll Shelby, resulting in an incredible machine. Featuring a Tremec 6060 transmission and a robust 5.4-litre supercharged engine cranking out 500 horsepower and 480 pound-foot of torque, it was a force to be reckoned with. With only 10,000 produced each year, it was a rare sight on the streets. The 2010 to 2014 Shelby GT500 continued the legacy with a 4-cam 32-valve V8 engine, adding 40 more horsepower and achieving a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 4.6 seconds. However, earlier models faced handling issues due to their weighty engines. This was rectified in 2011-2012 with a lighter aluminium engine block and enhancements like electric power assist steering EPAS, resulting in a crisper steering and improved performance. The 2013 to 2014 models took things to another level with a monstrous 5.8-litre supercharged engine producing an awe-inspiring 662 horsepower and 631 pound-foot of torque, capable of reaching a legal speeds of 200 mph and a blazing 3.5-second 0 to 60 time, the GT500 lived up to its reputation, all at a sub-$60,000 price tag. In 2006 to 2007, the Shelby GTH hit the market, available as a rental through Hertz. Sporting a distinctive black with gold stripes colour scheme and enhanced power, it became a sought-after ride, with demand leading to the production of 6,000 retail versions in 2007. The 2007-2008 Ford Shelby GT paid homage to old-school Shelby Mustangs, equipped with performance enhancements and iconic stripes reminiscent of its predecessors. Special editions, like the 2008 and 2010 GT500 Barrett-Jackson edition limited to Arizona, paid tribute to Mustang history, featuring unique design elements inspired by the prestigious auction house. The 2008 to 2009 GT500 KR continued the tradition, adding a supercharger and specialised calibration, limited to 1,571 models. 
The 2007 to 2009 Shelby GT500 Super Snake, inspired by the original Super Snake, offered enhanced performance through Shelby American. And then the 2009 to 2010 Prudhomme Edition Super Snake, honoring drag racing legend Don Prudhomme, featured drag racing packages for the ultimate racing experience. In the 2011-2012 GT350, Shelby introduced a new model to honour the 45th anniversary of the iconic race car. Sporting a supercharged 5-litre V8 engine, it outpaced even the 2011 GT500. Initially available only in the classic white with blue stripes, the 2012 version offered a range of colours and introduced a convertible option. The 2011-2014 GT500 Super Snake continued the legacy of post-title packages, enhancing the GT500 with performance upgrades. With the supercharger kit boosting power to 660 horsepower or 750 with additional upgrades, it also featured a short throw shifter and abundant Shelby badging. Limited edition colors like black or white with a triple gold stripe added exclusivity. The 2012 GTS revived Ford's concept from 1995, offering a performance-focused option between base and GT models. Available for V8 and V6 Mustangs, the GTS conversion included upgrades like Bayer brakes and Baller exhaust, providing the whole Shelby experience at a reasonable price. Celebrating their 50th anniversary, Shelby produced 50 black and gold Super Snakes, alongside special anniversary editions of the Shelby GTS in black and white. The reintroduction of the GT350 in 2016 was expected, given its legendary status. But the GT350R? That was a game changer. These cars have been winning accolades non-stop since their comeback. Despite their differences, both have cemented themselves as favourites among enthusiasts. One standout feature of this generation's GT350 is its engine, boasting a Voodoo Coyote variant with a flat plane crankshaft delivering an otherworldly sound. In 2019, the GT350 got a boost with improved suspension, summer tyres and a gurney flap. Then there's the 2020 GT500, one of the mightiest Mustangs ever, packing over 760 horsepower. Ford has capped its speed at 185 mile per hour, but given Mustang Tuner's reputation, expect it to surpass that limit quickly. When it comes to special editions, the Super Snake, born out of the absence of a GT500, proved skeptics wrong. With an 800 horsepower engine, carbon fiber details, and zero to 60 mile per hour time of 3.5 seconds, it's a force to be reckoned with. The Shelby GTH and GTS revived the renter racer concept, offering Mustang GTs with Shelby upgrades, including distinctive looks and enhanced performance. The 2019 Shelby GT, blending affordability with style and power, is a testament to this balance, offering over 700 horsepower with optional supercharging. As for the 2020 Shelby GT350 SE, it honors the Mustang's 55th anniversary with unique features like Wimbledon white paint and Guardsman blue racing stripes. Moving to Ford Performance's GT500, the 2020 iteration boasts a hand-built 5.2-litre V8 engine with a 2.65-litre supercharger, cranking out 760 horsepower and 625 pound-foot of torque. The GT500 Signature Edition offers an extra 40 horsepower, while the 2021 GT500 KR celebrates Shelby's 60th anniversary with only 180 units worldwide. Then, the first experimental car from Shelby found its way to production, the 2022 Shelby GT500. The 2022 Shelby GT500 Code Red pushes boundaries with a twin-turbo V8 delivering over 1,000 horsepower on 93-octane fuel and up to 1,300 horsepower on ethanol, limited to 10 cars per year.
Even though Carroll Shelby isn't around today to witness the latest rendition of the very first car he was genuinely proud of, it's safe to say he'd be thrilled to see Ford's commitment to delivering track-worthy performance in a car fit for the streets. What's fascinating about delving into the intertwined history of Shelby and Ford is realising that it's essentially a story of speed enthusiasts discovering a car they adore, and as Shelby put it, crafting a vehicle that could outperform just about anything on the planet. Now, which generation of Shelby Mustang captured your heart the most and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to our channel for more content on high-performance cars like the GT500. That's all from this video. See you in the next one.